Over Tips News August 22, 2022 Top of the Agenda Pakistani authorities charge former Prime Minister with terrorism Investigators in Pakistan charged former Prime Minister Imran Khan below the country's Anti-Terrorism Act yesterday, escalating tensions that have simmered on account that Khan was once ousted in an April vote. Police stated Khan had threatened officers in a speech on Saturday. Khan's legal professionals denied wrongdoing and stated he used to be speak me out towards corruption. Hundreds of humans gathered backyard Khan's residence in Islamabad the previous day to specific their help for him. Khan has no longer been arrested, and these days he used to be granted protecting bail till Thursday. A senior reputable in Khan's celebration stated his arrest would be a red line that would lead to something very bad. Analysis Every effort Pakistan's authorities makes to weaken Imran Khan will solely stop up making him stronger. Its dysfunctional and repressive insurance policies play to his strengths as a populist and allow him to channel public outrage to his advantage. The numbers in these big crowds don't lie, the Wilson Center's Michael Kugelman tweets. It is now not solely the civilian authorities who desires to arrest Khan, political analyst Nusrat Javed tells The Guardian. His tirade in opposition to the army institution and judiciary has pushed him to a region the place he can be arrested soon. For foreign affairs, Akul Shah unpacks Khan's shambolic ouster. Pacific Rim U.S. Japanese delegations visit Taiwan U.S. Governor Eric Holcomb and a bipartisan team of Japanese legislators are in Taiwan FT, today, the modern day in a sequence of high-level overseas visits that Beijing has criticized. Singapore, the United States of America will stop a ban on intercourse between guys SCMP, however amend its charter to restrict same-sex marriage, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Long said. South and Central Asia Washington reportedly pursues talks to release frozen Afghan bank assets The United States will cross ahead with the talks regardless of the Taliban's latest harboring of al-Qaeda chief Ayman al-Zawari, unnamed sources instructed Reuters. A proposed settlement would switch billions of greenbacks of U.S.-held Afghan Central Financial Institution property to a Switzerland-based trust, from which an global board would then direct disbursements that ignore the Taliban. CFR's Max Boot writes that the United States holds restricted affect in Afghanistan. Middle East and North Africa Qatar arrests foreign workers protesting late pay authorities detained at least 60 overseas employees who had long past months accept pay and deported some of them, an advocacy crew said. Qatar's labor legal guidelines have drawn elevated scrutiny as the United States prepares to host the FIFA World Cup later this year. This backgrounder appears at the Kafala migrant labor gadget used by using Qatar and some different Middle Eastern countries. Israel, NSO Group, the maker of the phone hacking software program Pegasus, will lay off Times of Israel, AP, 100 employees and exchange its CEO. The United States blacklisted the organization closing year after reviews that some governments used its technological know-how to conduct transnational repression. Sub-Saharan Africa Al-Shabaab siege on Mogadishu Hotel kills more than 30 people The militant crew claimed accountability, CNN, for the attack, which commenced in Somalia's capital Friday night and lasted via the weekend. More than 100 hostages have been rescued and some 50 humans had been injured. Kenya, presidential runner of Raila Odinga filed a felony assignment, BBC, to final week's election results. Kenya's Supreme Court will rule on the project inside 14 days. Europe Moscow car bomb kills Putin Ali's daughter a automobile bomb killed the daughter Wapo, of Alexander Dugin, a far-right ideologue shut to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Moscow blamed Ukraine for the assault however supplied no evidence. Kiev denied the accusation. Russia, the country's everlasting consultant to the United Nations advised the Financial Times that he sees no diplomatic quit to the battle in Ukraine and accused North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, nations of pressuring Ukraine to stroll away from talks. America's Pope voices concern over Nicaraguan bishops' detention Pope Francis expressed concern and sorrow AFP, over Nicaraguan authorities' detention of Bishop Rolando Alvarez, an anti-government critic. 
Colombia, President Gustavo Petro stated he will droop arrest warrants and extradition plans, Reuters, for militants in the left-wing National Liberation Army, ELN, guerrilla crew as a step toward resuming peace talks. United States flash floods at National Park Strand 200 people heavy rains over the weekend left site visitors stranded NYT, at country-wide parks in Utah and New Mexico. Researchers count on the frequency and depth of such floods will enlarge due to local weather change.